All right, so welcome back to another BTD6 video, and today we're gonna try and make an animated GIF in BTD6, or however you pronounce it, I don't know. So GIFs are like animations, and they're on a loop, and they're only like a few seconds long, you know, they show one simple little animation, but the thing is, GIFs are just frames being played at a speed, right? And so if we could recreate every single frame in BTD6 and then play them back, maybe we could recreate the animation. Like, it might look horrible, um, but I think there's a chance it could look kind of cool, so I wanna go for this. Now, one of the problems with this is that BTD6, on every map, there's a track, right? And the problem is the track gets in the way, all right? There's not really a good canvas for us to create pictures on. However, there's one map that's pretty close, all right? Blondes is pretty gosh darn open. The only problem is there's pigeons on the map. And when you click them, they come back in like, I don't know, it's really quick. It's like, you know, like a minute, like 30 seconds. And so the pigeons will get in the way. We'll have to deal with them. But other than that, the map is pretty open and it's the best thing we have here. Now, there's a lot of great gifts we can use here, right? If you just click on some of these, like Nine Cat, I think this would be a fantastic gift to use. And it looks like someone just bought it for half a million dollars. So maybe we shouldn't use that one. All right, so apparently someone spent $500,000 on this GIF. So that's cool. Anyway, I think GIFs are gonna be really, really hard in BTD6. Like we have to go for something simple. Like, like even just going for the simplest animation, you know, is just gonna be so difficult. So one thing we could do here is we could start with Stickman. Cause when you're starting with animation, like Stickman are a great place to start, right? Cause you have those frame by frame animations. So let's try and find a stickman animation that we can copy and then we can try and replicate it frame by frame look at this one right here right this person's kicking a ball and then hits them in the face that's pretty good or what about this one we could do like a running animation the problem is even though like like let's see how many frames are in this one it looks like this running animation only has about 15 frames which is actually pretty good i feel like we could do that like we spend like I don't know how long a frame would take. Let's say like three minutes. That's less than an hour to recreate this. An hour is still a lot, I guess. I don't know. I'm down for this. Let's try the running animation. All right, so here we are in blondes and we'll see how much these pigeons get in the way here. But I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use bomb tower, right? Cause bomb tower is really nice cause you don't have to upgrade it, all right? It's already black. So you just plop it down and we have our stigmat outline. So here's our first frame, all right? Let's just try and create one frame here. So let's get the pigeons out of the way first. And then we just need to start with this running pose. And it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get the like dimensions right every single time. But we know about the head like up here so let's just start with this and just start with like a head and already like even though we just started here we're not gonna have that much room here if we just do this like like if we just like kind of draw this out here i think we're gonna want the head like pretty far up here so let's try the head like right here even though it feels a little bit far up and there's the pigeons all right the pigeons are already back right there my goodness so tell you what let's just ignore the pigeons for now and let's just try and just get the angles on this body right this is gonna be a little bit sketch all right, so look at this. I'm playing the first and second animation back and forth. Look at that. It barely changes here, right? Um, and if we click a little more now, you can see some changes. Like there's some actual changes here. But these first two frames, there's very little change. The body just goes down a little bit. And I guess we're gonna have to do that. So I think we're just gonna have to shift the body down a little bit to try and make this work. It might look really wonky. You know what? One of the problems might be though, one of the, the stickmen lowers their feet like more than they are right now. And so the thing is, we're gonna have to go like below the canvas to make this work. So I think we have to shift everything up again. So we're gonna restart frame one. Um, and hopefully to look good. i don't want to restart but i feel like we have to unfortunately and we can make the head a little bit smaller honestly um even though it looks really really small i'm just trying to get the angles right of the stickman i feel like we made it worse somehow like look at this like why why are we so close to the ground already this is so difficult oh my gosh this is so difficult i i don't know if like like i was like oh this running animation is only 15 frames this is crazy all right let's just try this all right i think it's fine um we got we got we got to start somewhere though right we have to start the animation we can't just we can't just sit on the first frame all day so there's the first frame so now for the next frame the entire body shifts down a little bit what we could technically do is we could technically take heli pilots and shift everything down just slightly that's not the worst idea but the problem is we're not in sandbox mode actually we don't have infinite ability so i think we just have to restart this really quick so okay look at there's five bomb towers in each arm then we have five in the spine we have five in the leg and then one on the toes and then we have for this one we have six but that's because there's a right angle and it looks a little better i mean we could try so we need to shift this all the way down and we have five 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 six and then the toes so try and recreate this to the best of our ability let's because we're shifting it down let's focus on i mean let's just do a little by little i guess and hopefully it works the head also doesn't really go down though so we're gonna leave the head in place like look at this it's just this is like this is like <laughs> this is so weird um we need to start from the bottom though because we don't have a lot of room right here we can i mean we can try uh, there's enough room i guess shift everything down just a tiny little bit i'm not even gonna look at the animation i i have no idea how it looks okay there we go 
There's frame number two. Everything got shifted down, so we'll do this. That actually worked out, actually. That kind of worked out. Um, the head is still a little high right there, but that's okay. All right, so for the next frame, it's hard to show it, but look, this is frame one. Now we're on frame two. This is frame three. So here's two and three, the differences. I don't know how to show that. It looks like everything just like angles in a little bit more, but this is really, really hard here. So we're gonna just try our best. I, I don't know how to do this here. So I'm just gonna try and mimic what I see. It looks like everything gets lower and then the head tilts a little forward. So we're gonna move the head a little bit forward, like the, the tiniest little bit, like... That's not even that tiny. That's going to be pretty noticeable. I kind of see what's going on here. The head's sort of moving like, I don't know. All right, frame number three. Good stuff. All right, here's where we get a first noticeable difference here. So the legs, like, we want to focus on the butt of the stickman more because that's kind of our base point of everything. Now we kind of go down. So this first arm is going to have a massive shift. We're going to have to try and recover this, but I think we kind of, we didn't shift this arm down enough in frame number three. I, I feel like it's okay. But we'll have to see how it comes out, right? Try and find a happy medium. And this whole arm just kind of moves down with the body a little bit. Head changes a little bit. I don't think it really matters. I don't think we have to recreate the head every single time. But I'm just going to just because, you know, I might as well get those, those subtle shifts in there. All right, frame number four. We can't forget out the pigeons. That's not bad. We've been doing this for how long? It's almost been a half hour. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got we to gotta hurry up here. I guess we don't have a time limit though. Although my I'm doing laundry right now. And I don't want to leave it in the dryer too long. Frame number five, we have inwards. Frame number five, the, this arm sort of comes in a little bit. And it still angles up a little bit. So let's try Let's try this. Th this arm's going to be a little bit wonky probably. I. It's okay. The spine starts to curve upward into the body. It's a little bit weird, but we'll try this. We'll go like, uh, it's like that kind of. Does the butt, where does the butt go? Butt kind of stays in place, goes back a tad. So let's move the butt back a little bit. All right, I think I just missed a frame or something. I don't want to restart. So we're just going along with it. We're going to see. It might look absolutely terrible, but um, we're doing okay here. We just need the legs to come in a little bit. So we're going to go do this. And we need the leg to kind of just come down a little bit more. That's the stuff right there. That's the stuff. As long as we have the, the right directions, I feel like it's okay. We just want everything moving in the right direction. So there's that. There's frame number whatever. Let's try and get these pigeons out. Boom. So now we got this frame here. Head is it pretty much in the same spot. I'm going to move it like a dash forward, like the tiniest little bit. I don't like commentating this. All right. I'm, uh, I'm going to just work on this and we'll just see how this ends up, right? Here's where things get complicated because the arm kind of goes into itself, actually. I don't know. We're going to have to kind of have to improvise here a little bit. We're going to have to kind of like, like that. I think that's okay. The legs kind of, they, they really go on top of each other now. So I think we'll have to combine everything into one leg. Um, or we could just try, we could try and push everything together here. So maybe we'll cut it off a little like that. That might look really, really bad. This one is probably, probably the worst, but it's also a really hard frame. It's like we, we can't, I mean, we could try and do single layer here. I just feel like it's better this way. All right, here's where the head starts coming up now. So we can kind of, we can kind of replicate that. Let's move the head up a little bit. Now the arm goes absolutely in. So we can kind of just delete all this and do like here's the problem if we miss one little cannon it's gonna look completely off during the animation I mean, I'm, a, I'm gonna be a little pessimistic about this look at this frame right here look at frame number eight what are we supposed to do i think we are gonna have to have one single layer here the arms are like overlapping with each other and it's really difficult to showcase but let's do like that the spine is like out so now it goes like the spine kind of stays in the same spot honestly we're kind of screwing this up but that's okay Oh no, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. There's gonna be one frame that stands out. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be, this is so bad. All right. How's that for a frame? Does that, look at this. Like, what does this even look like? There's, oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is not getting any better. I feel like that just starting with the head is the right play. The spine kind of stays in place this time. So we can kind of try and take advantage of that. <laughs> <laughs> What does this look like? Look at this. This looks so bad. It looks so bad. Oh, that is so bad. I don't think I can fix this. That is now, this is a frame. I don't care. I don't care. This is our frame. Oh, frame. Beautiful. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, it's been like 40 minutes, and this is what we've made. 
Oh my god. It's gonna start to look better from here. Now the head significantly goes up more though, so we can... Oh, why did I just clear out the entire thing? I think I just goofed it. We need to move bombs like one at a time. We can't just clear everything out like that. Now this arm comes forward, actually. This is a big deal. Okay, so this arm, we can kind of move it. I don't know if we should move it up at all, but we're going to try that. It starts to bend this way. Oh, this looks. This is going to look so much better. Wait, no, it's not. I'm pretty sure there were, there were five like bomb shooters in this leg at one point, and now there's only four. So hopefully it doesn't look deformed, but that is... I. Oh, I, I just took a wrong screenshot. It's okay. It's fine. That is our next screenshot. All right. We're actually getting close. We're over, we're over halfway. Head goes up a little bit. Oh, I like that. The arm goes out a little bit more. So we can just kind of boom. Yeah. All right. We're going to add we're going to add a bomb tower to the leg here. I don't know if that's the, the point, but I, I think it's extended. It's supposed to look long. All right. That looks a little bit better than like some of these previous frames here. Oh, okay, now now we get now we're kind of getting the groove of it. Circle goes up, kind of getting the circle a little bit high. We need to shift the body up a little bit to compensate. I think um, the head might just be bouncing on the body, um, but we'll figure it out. It's okay. A little bit straighter. I'm just gonna redo the spine every single time. I just I don't know. I don't think it needs to happen, but like I'm just I'm worried that I missed a frame. That's the biggest thing here. All right, I feel like I screwed up with this leg somehow. I I don't know where it is. A little bit more of a definitive curve, honestly. Let's do like that. Yeah, that's better. The only problem is it's walking a little bit low. I, d I just don't want to go too low into the ground, like like that. That's great, that's fine. Oh wait, we can't screenshot this early. Okay, tiniest bit up on the head. Okay, that 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 arm feels pretty good. That's, that's not, that, okay. That's a pretty good frame. I think that one looks really good. All right, we actually have two frames left, okay. No, this is the last frame. It's kind of in the same spot. It just widens a little bit in the head. I might have screwed up the head by moving it around so much, but we're just going to move it a slight around, slight bit. The only thing is, is this, is this, is this first, is this last frame going to match up with the first one? I doubt it is. If we were smart, if we were, if we were really big brain, we would be able to match up the, the last frame with the first frame. So it looks like a loop. I don't know. This is, <laughs> whatever. This is our first time doing this, huh? We're new to the animation industry. All right, that that is our animation we are done animating sort of i think so now we're gonna just put this in our editor and see what it looks like here right so we're gonna import all the images so there's all our screenshots some of these do have pigeons in them these don't look like they're in order all right so we gotta order these really quick so i'm gonna do that all right this is so scary i just I, i'm scared to see what it looks like um well, let's just check these screenshots here um it looks like we did change the tower selection screen at one point which is kind of a shame um, so it's gonna look a little weird there. Oh my god, look at this! It's an animation! Oh my god! <laughs> look at this frame! <laughs> this frame, every time, it's so funny. Oh, this one has the mouse in it! Oh, the mouse is in the screenshot! Alright, here we go! Here is our animation! Um, I think everything's playing at one frame a second, so we'll have to speed it up. Let's, let's see it. Is it too slow? Oh, this is too slow. Okay, wait. All right, so our animation is now at one frame a second. We're just going to see how it works at one frame a second, all right? It might be bad. Come on. Look at it. It's an animation. It's running. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the mouse is in the way. This is great. That's fine. And it might look okay. That looks okay. That looks great, actually. All right, this animation is going to be so fast, it won't even last a second. Let's try it. Oh, Oh, that's so good. Okay, we need that on a loop. We need that on a loop. All right, ready? Just gonna copy and paste it like a few times. All right, all right, all right. The first animation ever, probably in BTD6. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's running! <laughs> yes, yes, we did it. It's running. That looks great. That looks so good. No way! That looks so good! And it actually doesn't loop too badly. It's pretty close. All right, really quick, we're just gonna make it even faster than that. Oh, yeah! That is so clean! Oh, that's so good! 
All right, so when I was making the second frame of this animation, I scrolled on the towers on the right side. And so that means that the first frame has different towers shown than all the other frames. And so there's this really annoying flash when you're watching the animation. And so I just edited it out and here is the final product here. Look at this, all right? Look at the numbers change, all right? It is so clean. It looks so much better without the flash and stuff. And yeah, that is our final animation right there, all right? Like, and I'm so happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and be sure to brush your teeth.